In this video, we're going to talk about Chipotle. This is the home that Brian Nichols built. He's now at Starbucks, and I will put out a video on Starbucks as well as they just announced their earnings. But nevertheless, Chipotle announced their earnings this past Tuesday. It was a mixed quarter, resulting as earnings beats expectations, but revenue fell short. And on that news, price sold off. The burrito chain's same store sales rose 60%, just shy of the estimates of 6.3%. For the full year, Chipotle reiterated its outlook that same store sales would grow by mid to high single digit percentage. Now this is the monthly chart. We're going to put a marker on the high current high and a marker on the current low. This is our football field. And anything in the middle, say near that $58 level is going to be equilibrium, which means that the buyers and sellers are going to be evenly distributed. Only at the extremes do you have the imbalance between buyers and sellers at $48. Huge imbalance between buyers duking out with the sellers and then on the upside huge imbalance with the sellers drastically outweighing the buyers now let's scroll down to the weekly chart but before we do that you see this wick over wick I do want to denote that as that could be a level of interest in terms of weekly buyers and you did get some clues as price came down could not reach that top portion of the level before moving higher let's scroll down to the weekly chart and within that zone I'm just going to reduce the risk you have a rally basin candle rally out I'm not in love with the fact that there was trading to the left nevertheless the origin of the move higher was below at $44 so this level you want to see some type of reversal pattern on the say the daily time frame before considering going long nevertheless it is a level of interest at $46.50 Now you had resistance, support, rightfully so. Resistance once again, forming. A head and shoulders Not sure if I'm spelling shoulder right, but we're going to go with it for now. And typically, when price breaches the shoulder. prices tend to go down in this case measured move which would put price at that $52 level Let's scroll down to the daily chart We did have a level of interest, but this was level was in the middle of the range. Now, why did it work out? Well, prices were in clearly in an uptrend. You do have another level of interest. Daily buyers, but again, it's within this range. So trade with caution. Do we have another level which was a beautiful level that worked out? On the high time frames, you have to ask yourself why did price stop moving lower or stop moving higher? It started going down or started going up. 
rally base rally out this was good for at least a 10 bagger scrolling back out to avoid some of the noise the charts are suggesting the best levels to get long is on a pullback ten dollars lower at this weekly buy level near forty seven dollars thanks for watching subscribe please like the video